Ahoy, Tag and Brag Nation. We just got back from North Carolina on our little video shoot down there. And now we are, well, Dean is spraying this little field in Ohio here that we're going to uh, plant brassicas. If you guys remember back in like probably February or March, we literally cleared this whole thing out. This was all like fallen dead trees in here. And we cleared this whole thing out, got it down to dirt. Well, now the weeds have grown back up. What we want to do is plant this little half acre patch right here, uh, brassicas. And we've never really had food plots in Ohio. So this is kind of exciting. Dean's gonna, Dean's literally in the process right now of spraying all this. And then we're gonna come back in here probably in another week or two, bring the tractor home and till this whole thing and plant brassicas in here. I mean, literally this is like a little cove of a food plot. We're, we're backed up right next to this gas, ro or this uh, gas well right here. But I mean, there's so many trees on the edge of this thing that you could hunt out of and be able to shoot basically this whole plot. The deer lay back in there and they lay back over here. So more than likely they're gonna be coming from this way or they're, they're gonna be coming through that patch where Dean is over there. And so we'll probably set up the stands accordingly. More than likely my grandparents' house is up through the woods up this way. So the easiest access is gonna be down through this ravine. And so more than likely we're gonna pick a tree at least to start on this side, um, be able to sneak in and out. The deer kind of run more perpendicular to where we'd be coming in, so we wouldn't be disturbing anything getting in or out. And uh, you'd be able to see and shoot this whole food plot right here. So um, we're pretty excited about this. Interested to see how it's gonna grow because it's it kind of stays wet in here. That was another reason that we wanted to uh, spray this all down right now because give it a, a couple weeks to dry out Hopefully the dirt will dry out with it. And once we come in here with the tractor, we'll be able to do uh, everything that we need to do tilling wise and get it done without getting stuck or anything like that. Cause we're uh, pretty prone to getting things stuck around here. So that is that. Um, we're gonna check a couple cameras, I think here at once Dean's done with this too. And we are leaving for North Dakota one month from today to go set up trail cameras and uh, get prepared from when we go back in September. So it's here. The season is about to be upon us. Pretty exciting. Do you want me to carry this? Yes, I do. Do you have cards? Yes, I do. Are you mad? No, I'm not. <laughs> What's up, Tag and Brag Nation? We just got done spraying a uh, clover plot that we planted in the springtime, which uh, didn't come up very well. There's a, there's a little bit in there, but I think we're gonna actually till it up and put turnips in because this clover plot that's about 200 yards from it is coming up awesome. There's just a lot of weeds in it. So Dave and I are just gonna bring the tractor home from New York. After we're done, we're gonna work up there for a couple days, probably try to trailer it home and we're just gonna brush hog this. We should be able to knock the weeds down and this clover should come up really good. There it is, but we should, we're gonna probably, we might broadcast a few turnips in here, but we just uh, check the camera, put some more corn out, replenish the little mineral and uh, there hasn't been a buck in here. So hopefully that changes right now.